versus Pelka. Winner's side. Yes, sir. House of 3000 versus the Sinai Village. So let's see uh, which house is going to come out on top here today. <laughs> Go. Looking We're like Game of Thrones. Yeah, so Town and City is going to be the stage here. Uh, I'm going to say it's an interesting choice for both characters. A lot of what Snake's going to want to kill you with is these vertical kill options. So I'm assuming this was probably Dill's. Uh, Dill probably ended up striking last. Maybe. That's, uh, you know, what I'm thinking about. But and this was like kind of like, I guess, my greatest fear coming into this match, knowing I feel like Rob is a character that likes his, sp his space. Snake is a character that definitely likes his space. So this neutral for the first part of it is definitely, ooh, OK. There's going to be a lot of these, like, throw stuff and wait. But. Yeah, Pel that's pretty much it. But Pelkin is also really good at doing stuff like that. He's really good at, you know, laying his traps around you. And then, you know, knowing that you're probably going to shield to get through to him. Knowing when to get the grab and call you out on it. And already, oh, look at that. Great first stock there from Pelka. What I've noticed from watching Pelka from watching other snakes is that he's really creative. Like, we saw, you know, he has, like, awesome setups. Definitely some grenade stuff I haven't seen before. Yeah, you see him once again, wasting no time, throwing those grenades out. Tries to break zone with the dash attack, but, you know, still able to grab him for his pains. And this is exactly where you don't want to be against Snake. When you're in the percents where you're just trading with Snake's grenades and you're down a stock, you might as well just, like, you know, pack it up. Because I don't know if Dill's going to be able to have the burst speed or burst option necessary to Playing be able to get Playing a little bit of game there. of catch with the top there. You know, throw it, throw it back. Uh, Dill really struggling to get in right now. Goes for the Danner, doesn't quite get it. We'll see what the edge guard is. Goes down there deep to get it, and Pelka actually SDs. That works. That's one way to get it. I don't really know what he was going for. He could have air dodged and made it back. I'm not quite sure what the problem was. Right. Needs to say, they'll take that. And once again, Pelka getting right back, setting up shop with the grenades. Yeah, so good at just using all these explosives to his advantage. Gets the grab once again. And that he was doesn't get the up tilt, though. Yeah, I was going to say, that was a rough situation for Dill right there. Because if he rolled, he was going to get hit by the grenade. Uh, and Blaine ch chases the Kita. Oh, my God. That was so scary. Now, interesting that it's Town and City first. You know, a lot of the times we see, like, Pokemon Stadium, too. Why do you think just Town and City? Uh, like I said, I think Dill's just trying to get as much survivability out of uh, you know, Snake's vertical kill options as he can. That's probably what my choice would be. Right. It also provides a lot of space, all that fun stuff. Man. But it doesn't really matter. Pelka's doing a really good job getting uh, the kills he needs as he was able to get it with down throw uh, F tilt earlier. And Dill's just having a hard time generating any sort of offense. And yeah, just both players you know, opting to kind of set up camp right now. Dill taking a much slower approach to kind of get in. But like I said, when you're at these percents, where you're starting to take trades with Snake, and you're down to your last stock, it just makes that hill so much harder to climb. Really, it's just it's just kind of awe-inspiring that like Hel Helka just has like this wall, right? And it's so hard to get around it. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of you know quick decisions you have to make against Snake. Like all these set play characters, it just like they leave you so little room, uh, you know, to adjust to what they're doing. Especially when you have you know you know two or three things you have to kind of think about before you even think about grabbing Snake. I do like how Dill is going out there for the edge guards. He's not playing it very passively. Like he realizes, hey, I am very much down versus Snake. I really really need to get these stocks. Yeah, that's what you got to do against Snake. You got to hit him where it hurts, and that's his recovery. It's it's pretty all right, but it's still not the greatest, especially when he's, you know, forced to recover high, and Rob's a character that can really uh, you know, hit those upper parts of the blast zone very well, but still able to get the stock off with up throw, but has 126% on the bill right now, so Belka doesn't need much to you know, close this out. He's about 2% away from where down throw to up tilt is a uh, confirmed kill. Dill kind of trapped on the ledge here. That's going to be game one. Yeah, it doesn't even go for the down throw up tilt. And he and got the crowd loves it. The crowd loves Snake. <laughs> you can tell this isn't a normal tournament crowd. Yeah, I was about like, oh. to say, I'm like. <laughs> I love middle Love tier. cons. <laughs> Just got to love cons. Yeah, but great stuff there from Pelka. Making use of all of uh, you know Snake's fantastic tools right there, whether it be you know, the area of effect that he's able to, to garner. You know, as you see. Getting two kills out of down throw F tilt to confirm that you know most people probably didn't know that uh you know that snake had, but when you're such a big body, you're dungeon off at the ledge like that, it just makes it so hard uh, you know for you to get past snake and you know, Tucker putting on a a phenomenal uh, showing about what this character can do. I really like the FD pick. Um, I feel like Snake very much uh, 
He flourishes on stages with platforms. He can like set up, jump around. Here is much more like you come at me, you fight me. Yeah, and uh, Pelka took out his bands on Smashville and uh, Kalos, so it looks like he's not trying to give uh, you know Rob any like big open space to play with or any you know sort of platform for him to kind of play around. So this is probably the next best option uh, for Dill right here. But like we're gonna see this neutral again, just kind of throwing things at each other and running away. Yeah, and it, it's really funny watching like, uh, you know, watching set play characters play against each other is interesting because, you know, Rob obviously has Gyro to work with and Snake and everything else, and, you know, you can kind of throw your opponent off by being like, okay, like, you know, you don't know how to play set play. It looks like both these characters do, and you see Elka able to play it with both his grenades and Rob's Gyro. But, you know, again, the neutral's kind of a stalemate right now. Great follow up off of the uh, Elka's own grenade uh, explosion from Dill, but. He's just keeping it close. That's all you got to do in this matchup. Right. Still, stock one, almost a minute in, hasn't been taken. Oh, making a little, little oh. down tilt. Rob's down tilt is pretty good, and the crowd is loving it too. Oh, oh the okay. Pelka's gonna make it back. Yeah, the cipher saving Pelka's bacon right there. But after a phenomenal down throw into the up air, and that's gonna be stock one for Dill. Yeah, Finally that was, taking the lead. That was really, really good from Dill. All from. Yeah, a couple of pokes from the down tilt. That was very, very uh, well executed. Right. You can see how he needs to keep where he is now. But Dill firing back right now, getting all of the follow ups he needs. Again, just trying to you know, play a, a fun game with the B reverse uh, gyro right there. Now Pelka's the one on the back foot now, so he's going to have to play slightly more aggressive, but the there. Yeah. Getting the job done with the C4. Right. But still, he doesn't need to approach. You know, he can just kind of like wait around. He gets two hits with the top, goes for the downer, a little too early. Gonna do the down throw again. We'll see what the option is. The tilt into the wow. up air, and that is going to take Pelka's second stock. And that just speaks for how strong uh, that up air is, Lyric. You know, that's one of Rob's best kill confirms. That, that, was, that was like Rob's bread and butter in Smash 4, right? Yeah, the it was, but like now the move is just like. Still as strong. Like I think the DI angle is a little bit uh, Woo, the different. The town way. tilt into the town tag. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dill finally remembered that Rob's down tilt was a move. <laughs> that move was very, very good. Right. Helga's struggling right now. It just feels kind of like Dill is all over him. Yeah, it looks like this open space in front of him has definitely provided, uh, you know, great uh, advantages for Dill as Helga doesn't really have any platforms to retreat to. Uh, you know, to kind of cover his landings, which is where Snake obviously struggles the most. Ooh, Ooh air dodge is right into his arms. Yeah, he kidnapped him. My goodness. But I like the laser off off stage to get kind of Snake's missiles out of here. It's the yeah. forward air. We need this. We need this kill now, otherwise Falcon has no problem bringing this back at 207. Yeah. yeah. All Rob has to do is just kind of breathe on Snake and he's dead. Yep. And the suplex. That'll do it. So Dill. Winning game two as the crowd erupts again. So let's go unbiased crowd. Let's go. <laughs> They're just here for some good, yeah. good Smash Bros action. Yeah, in the, on, in the ongoing battle between war and machinery, uh, right. we have a 1-1 game going into game three. Here, I played, so. um, who did I play? I played Hangman's Piranha Plant on stream um, when I took your controller. Mm -hmm. And they like all like, they got like super excited when I three stock piranha plan. I'm like, listen, all right, I'll, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> so just an update for you guys down in losers bracket. Uh, Adamus currently in losers round three. Uh, John switch DQ'd and then he beat Turtle Hands round two losers. And losers is still progressing along. I'm sure we will see that later. But we all have winners here, and we're back to Smashville. Okay, so the ban's coming out from Dill. Looks like he banned Unova and Pokemon Stadium, and it's interesting. Pelka actually banned uh, he banned Smashville in his last game uh, against Dill. So I'm curious why he's curious to see that he's bringing them here. Maybe the small. Maybe it's small. I don't know. Yeah, I think. I mean, this is a great uh, Snake stage. Uh, I was just curious to see why he would ban it and then opt to go to it here because right. I think this stage is really good uh, for Snake for that very reason. Being able to set up shop under the platform. If you're a set player or a zoner, like that just makes your you know just doubles your options both from you know aerial approaches and from in front of you. Right. Just <laughs> a sticky neutral again. <laughs> They're just playing catch with each other at this point. They're just having fun. Nothing like a day out on the town. Yeah, playing catch with grenades with the boys. <laughs> 
So that grenade actually saving Pelka's uh, hide right there. That's, once it, you know, that upper probably would have been enough to at least make him sweat a little bit, but. I think Dill has realized that, you know, uh, it's in his best option to kind of just like wait it out and see because you saw that he kind of got the advantage there just from, you know, waiting for Pelka to just, you know, activate the C4. Now he's off stage. See what Pelka can get. Ooh, maybe Ooh, trying to bait out a roll with the up smash, but got up a little bit short there. This first stock. Ooh, good up there once again to buy him some time from underneath the ledge. Guess Down he throw in Still not killing. Oh, gonna get. Is he gonna go for the up throw again? Up yes, throw. he does. And there we go. That's enough. So Dill once again striking first here. Now let's see how long he can extend his lead for before Pelk, uh, uh, you know, eventually gets one over on him. Almost gets the river dance on him. Yeah, Just that move fantastic. Out uh, right. of shield off of the snake. It's one of his fastest ones out of shield, I believe. Gets the up throw on the platform again. Again, just gonna get those simple bread and butters. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. We saw that. He wanted it. Dill, really firing back. Oh my god. Oh Rage my stuff. god. He gets the up air, and Dill sitting pretty at three stocks to one. High yeah. percent, but still. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear is Rob the Robot, but Spelka eventually putting, uh, you know, wiping his boots on Rob's chin right there. But he has a lot of ground to make up, like you said. Dill has, looks like whatever it is, whatever adjustment he's made uh, has definitely paid off for him here. And Spelka right. looking uh, a little flustered right now. It's just looking like. Dill is just really enjoying the small stages. Uh, it's not that he can fight Pelka better, it's just that he can be in more Pelka space, kind of intimidate him there. But Pelka firing back too. Again, Pelka Woo! trying to find his landing option, but the up smash on the platform as Dill goes up two games to one on Pelka. And not trying to throw a shade at Dill, but this would definitely be considered an upset. Like, oh no, for sure, this like, is definitely an upset. Are you is easily like one of the like the top snakes in the country. Oh, for sure, it, absolutely. Now Pelka does have a couple of other characters in the arsenal. Um, looks like he's maybe changing his controls around or something. Uh, <laughs> this would be a bad time to figure out if you were playing with the wrong controls this whole time. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Okay, no, he's just making another tag. So maybe we're seeing a character switch here uh, from Pelka. Usually when I see people like make a new tag, it's like for the different waifu. You know, Smash is a thief. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. <laughs> this waifu ain't working. It's working. I cannot can dispute facts. You see them talking about something. Where do you think we're going? Oh, wait. We're going to Battlefield. Yeah, it looks like three. Battlefield is a choice. So once again, same band's coming out. I guess Pelka's like, okay, maybe the small stage wasn't the best option. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is a thing. I didn't know Pelka has a Mario. Uh, so I've only really, yeah, it. I've only really seen it in teams. Uh, him and Kool Aid teamed that overclocked, and that was uh, he used Mario just a little bit over in uh, that set. So, yeah, we'll see how this uh, transition works oh. out. Mario, I think, is a character that is still pretty slept on. Right. Like he's definitely not as. Uh, I feel like with a lot of the quote mid tiers in this game, it's just that. So many characters are, they have their uses, and they have their hidden tips and tricks. It's just that not many people are, like, using them to their full ability. I yeah, say. exactly. So here we go. We're going to see the Mario come up for Pelka. And probably like for this reason. Big House 5 oh almost kills. Yeah, so what I said earlier about Rob, Rob being a combo dumpster, uh, that stands true. And Mario, you know, while kind of a nerf set from his last uh, game appearance, he still has you know, some of the best vertical combo game in the game, as well as a you know, upbeat being a kill move. So definitely something to pay attention to uh, with those vertical strings. Right. Well, that I do like how I do like how uh, Dill is kind of like putting out that forward air wall, though. Yep. Uh, just kind of like that. I don't want you to. I don't want you to grab me again. Goes for the cape. Doesn't get it. Okay, gets the up tilt to pop him up, and, and the up air does it. And to see a roll of the eyes from Pelka, he's like, ah, oh, jeez, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, but I do like that you pointed that out, because Rob Forder is just such a fantastic just spacing tool right in front of you, like you said. Comes out really, really quick, and a character like Mario, as a back throw, does get the kill. You know, a character like Mario is going to be doing a lot of short hopping in your face to try to get those, you know, uh, approaching aerials. Definitely a good tool to utilize. And I do like how, like, very forward Pelka is playing right now in comparison to the Snake, where it's just kind of like, I'll wait until I get my one hit. Now Pelka's like, all right, like, let's go. Let me grab you. Yeah, once again, taking advantage of Rob's massive frame. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, it's going to take you for a ride, looking like Marvel 2. Yeah. <laughs> Dill's just having a, a rough time dealing with the disadvantage here. He's finally able to get back to the stage, find some little bit of time. And I don't think this matchup is, quote, undoable. I just think that Dill just needs to be a little bit more patient. Oh, yeah. This, this, this matchup isn't bad at all for Rob, because Rob, I still think, has tools that Mario doesn't have, which is range to work with. Like, I think Rob, you know, albeit it's not a destroy, he does have better reach uh, than Rob has access to. Uh, but nonetheless, though, Dill just having a hard time getting around the uh, the combo game here. Helga. Ooh, continue Ooh, to chase. God, there we go. So a great back air there from Pelka. That's going to be a, uh, he has a two-stock looking here at relatively low percent. So this is looking really, really uh, promising for a game five. But let's see if Dill has anything to say about that. I mean, we've seen Dill come back from worse. Ooh, I, okay, I was going to say, I love the use of the gyro right there, but yeah, Pelka but it actually put him at a disadvantage. God, that is... It's, it's so good against Rob, man. Like, this poor character. Right. Ooh, goes for the F-Smash read. Doesn't quite get it. Dill realizes it in time. Jumps over. Yeah, at this point, Pelkin just kind of like, he, he can afford to swing for defense and maybe have a little bit more wiggle room than he's uh, Ooh, but there that F-Smash is going to take that stock. Pelka's winner's life is on the line here. Yeah, this definitely isn't uh, insurmountable by any stretch of the imagination. Let's it's a see little if... bit harder, though, with Mario having your top. Also, you off stage. Ooh, oh okay. God. Goes for the read. Doesn't quite get it. Good punish. But now we have a problem of Dill needs to get down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to see the little bit of these platforms. Yeah, it's like when your parents Ooh. are yelling at you and you won't come out of your room. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't like, want to. You already know that they're coming to scream. Ooh, Ooh okay. Air dodge on stage. Nice. Jab, right. jab, jab. Yep, able to break out of whatever down tilt shenanigans Dill was looking for there. Good getup attack. Delka probably fishing for a back throw after he rolled into the ledge like that. Ooh, Ooh okay. Okay, close. If that sweet spot, that definitely would have killed. So Dill getting the second chance of life here. Helka sharking the ledge here, looking for something. But Dill back on, back on the ground. He's finding this out. Not enough just yet. Rob still, uh, you know, kind of a heavy body, so. He has to play it careful, though. I don't think he has much gas left. But Dill also really smart. He's like kind of like waiting it out. He realizes next hit like that. Oh my God! Doesn't actually kill. Yeah. 186. Rob living on battlefield goes for the up air off ledge, but that is going to spike. <laughs> yep, that is unteckable, as you can tell by the red splash. So we're gonna see a game of five, folks. So. What we originally projected as kind of a long set, uh, we were right, just yeah, for greatly absolutely. different reasons. It's going to be a game five coming up uh, for Pelka and uh, Dill here. And coming up next, I believe we have, I want to say, uh, Gons and the winner of Blazing Pasta. And, or, or, uh, yeah, or Ralphie or DM, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, nonetheless, though, you know, we are still game five. working here. So we saw the counter pick work in Dill's advantage. So I'm curious. Uh, we'll see what the bands are. Yeah, I'm curious if, what the bands are going to be. I'm also curious if Dill's going to switch characters. You know, I know that, you know, Dill low key might still have a Diddy Kong. Uh, that's a character that's <laughs> that's seen a little bit of a, uh, a resurgence, mostly because these buffs have been really, really promising to him. So, right. I mean, we haven't seen. I mean, we all know that Diddy got buffs, but we haven't seen Diddy back in full force. I know Dak Poe still plays Diddy Kong in Texas, and I yes. believe he still gets pretty good results with him. But on a national level. Yeah, Haven't like when you're when you're looking yet. at Diddy Kong, you're looking at Dakpo, you're looking at yes, Player yeah. One from Georgia. Right. Um, those are probably the two flag bearers to Diddy right now. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, but Pelka. Going back Snake. Interesting. So this must be a sta I guess Mario was a stage dependent counter pit. That's probably what the wave was going to be for that. So Still sticking with the Rob. So Pelka, you know, going back to the tried and true. But let's see if that uh, one game of Mario was enough to kind of throw off the scent of what he was looking for. And we're going to finally get us the game on Stadium here, so. I'm interested to see how this neutral is going to go now that it's game five. I wonder if, you know, Dill's going to play a little bit more aggro. I mean, he isn't, but still, he's got the percent lead right now. Now, my thing here is I'm sure Dill probably picked the stage maybe thinking that Pelko is going to stay Mario because he was banning the stage the last two times when he was using uh, Snake. So this could have probably been just a lack of options uh, for counter picks. So let's see uh, you know, if... I mean, it's working out for him right now. He's He realizes, all right, you have that grenade, you have the C4 up on that ledge. I am not coming over there unless I know it's safe. 
Oh! Whoa, goes for yeah, going right. for the going for the rotor arms, but just coming up empty there. That's the first time he's actually gone for that the entirety of the set. Bill's right. primarily just kind of been uh, winning the boxing game with uh, with Pelka. Goes for it again. I think that was a miss input. Yeah, it's probably a B reverse laser or a B reverse gyro. But Pelka again. setting up shop, setting up the unbreakable wall of Snake's tools. Yeah, but he's still at the deficit, so at some point he's going to have to let the game come to him. Right. You know, unless Dill just stays on the other side of the stage and lets, you know, <laughs> just takes all, all the damage he needs from grenades. Ooh, goes for the up air, doesn't quite get it. Okay, great trade Ooh, right there. but gets the up air, and that's going to take first stock of this game five. There we go. Great stuff there from Dill. You know, great awareness out of the trade right there. Okay, I can probably throw out my up air faster than you can. So now Pelka, once again, on the back foot. What I've noticed is that a lot of the times uh, we see Pelka set up that C4 somewhere, and then when he goes to activate it, that's when Dill is running out of him to make sure he doesn't get hit, and he punches him with the forward air, which is smart. Yep, exactly. Once again, Dill making great use of when Snake is above him. He's gotten so much mileage out of that up air. Oh my goodness. Oh! And, uh, you hate to see that game five. Yeah, game five SDs, that stinks, man. As, you know, it sucks for Pelka. Uh, so now he's going to have to really, really dig deep if he wants to move on here. I mean, we're going to see him play more aggressively. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, the kind of box Ooh. in the corner. Great parry right there, but just... <laughs> he's just kind of kneeing him in the, the back. The cats looking like cakes. <laughs> <laughs> As we say in New York, cakes. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been really, really rough for Pelka. Force the air dodge to the ledge. Ooh, gets the grab. This might be stopped. It is. Yeah, the fortunate Rob was with no place to like roll behind no, Pelka. Nowhere so. to go. But Pelka kind of stuck in shield here. Gets the lucky hit of the uh, grenade. Ooh. That up air. I was going to say, that was a great weight on the explosion for the grenade to set up into the up air for right. Dill. And Dill looks like he's playing better with the He's made, playing better with the grenades and the explosions than Pelka is right now. Pelka with a forward smash. Dill, perfectly content with just saying, you know what, you come to me. Yeah, but now you see him send up uh, shop with the grenades again. He's throwing out these up smashes, maybe Cheddar. Ooh. Read the roll in. Great catch right there. But once Ooh, again, Dill trading. goes for the up air, doesn't quite get it. That would have been stock, I think. Most likely, with, all, with the amount of rage that Rob has on him, I think that probably would have killed. Ooh, oh, but catches him with the back air. air. And there we go. It's, I consider that an upset. I think, and the CD you look at as an upset. Yeah. Dill moves on to play Sauce, Sauce who beat, who beat uh, Suarez, so. Sauce beat Suarez, okay. That's a okay. tough one, man. Suarez is one, one of the most consistent players uh, in Ultimate. And uh, yeah, that was a fun set to watch, man. And it's just unfortunate that it's gonna be haunted with the scent of an SD on that second stock. And I think back to, you know, I commented a set of Pelka's at Overclock. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of a same situation where it was game five, and the second stock, he throws it away because he has these. And unfortunately, that just kind of stunts your momentum. Right. And